Okay, YouTube. Hey, this is me again, coming to you with my my haul for this week so far. Um, let's say I started this week off with the Nivea cream tins. You know, earlier this week they were producing two dollar up rewards and a um tad a tad detergent. I bought some other stuff as you see here with my all my receipt. You know, I use the my quarterly ECB and a one dollar coupon, and I paid five twenty seven out of pocket, but I got back eight dollars in up rewards. So what I did was um, today this this afternoon actually I did my second transaction, and that entailed um, head and shoulders, a tad. And that was it. For, for Head and Shoulders, I'm sorry. And Ace Had. I watched a video earlier by Florida Crafter who came to the conclusion in her scenario that if you bought four Head and Shoulders and used two of the BOGO coupon, um, because they're taking off the full price, you ended up with $0.98 cents in overage paired with the $1 tag coupon and a uh, four off of 20 then you actually came out of pocket literally tax. So with that, I was $5.97 into my gas card. So you know what I did? I went back and did another transaction on another card. Same transaction, really, minus the tad. I actually just went ahead and got some things that I wanted. The Z-Quill, a magazine, and some Pop-Tarts. And here's what I paid out of pocket. $4.98. I went ahead and used a 4 off of... I believe that was a full off of 20, two BOGO coupons, and, hmm, oh, a $2 coupon for the shampoo, off of shampoo, and, uh, oh, the $2 ZQL coupon, um, I didn't get anything back, but that's okay, I've been working towards my gas card, I'm thoroughly satisfied with what I did, so my final transaction for the day is this big old long huge receipt that you see here all of this stuff which is most of the stuff on the table all this head and shoulders Pantene the, the Charmin the physician's formula and the that Tide um, the first store I went to did not have the free engine so I wish they did but what I will be doing is actually returning the Tide with Downey to get these free and gentle I actually like these um, better than I like the top with Downey. So, back to my transaction. I actually went ahead and bought two of the Pantene, eight head and shoulders, two tides, the Charmin, and one, two, three, four, five, six physicians formula. Um, we'll talk about that $3 taxable in a minute. So, I used all of the coupons. I used three full off of 20s, um, a 3 off of 15, you know, the one we got from Facebook. My $8 ECB I got earlier in the week from my Nivea. Two $1 tag coupons. I also used a dollar for the Charmin. Those 9.49s are the BOGO for the head and shoulders. Um, what is that $1 coupon? Um... Hmm. I don't remember what that one dollar coupon is for. Who knows? Um, the eight ninety eight forty nine. Both of those are Bogo coupons, as well as the six twenty nine. And then these three dollar coupons are for the peelies that came off of those items there. Hmm. I'm stumped about that one dollar coupon. Let's see, two $1 for Tide, $1 for Charmin, hmm. three off of, oh, hmm, okay, who knows, I can't remember, but, so, my total should have been $11.72 with the tax, but I handed this heifer a coupon for 
three off of 15 okay yes the three off of 15 was a printable she did not take it off there those three dollar coupons are the peelies and the three dollar off of two for the pantene that three dollar taxable she actually charged me three dollars instead of taking off of three dollars and when i asked her about it because i had never seen it before she says it's a taxable item so that's what i have to put is taxable because it's, it's not food or anything so i accepted it because you know it makes sense to me you know i've seen taxable when i'm at the self-checkouts downtown that's what they have to do but what threw me for a loop is the fact that it did not come off it actually went on therefore i will be calling corporate on thursday to report one that i didn't appreciate having to sit stand there and go through the coupon policy with her not that she didn't know the policy the problem actually was that <clears throat> because the fraudulent bitches over here in district heights are just so trifling and have um, actually gotten people fired because they're so trifling. You know, everybody likes free stuff, but not at the expense of causing someone their job. I mean, that's just stupid, ridiculous, and inconsiderate. And I hope that shit comes back to them tenfold karma. But what she did was she waited until my receipt printed out. You know, we're chatting back and forth about the coupons and how things are working. And, you know, because she questioned why I had three, four off of 20s. It's none of her business how I had it. As long as they scan and the numbers are different, I'm not doing anything fraudulent. My actual total before, if anybody's interested, because, you know, not that I have to prove anything to anybody. But my total before coupons, if you look down at my total savings today that's a hundred and thirty seven dollars and sixty three cents so i was well within my right to use all of those four off of 20s because my total even after the savings from the sales was well over sixty dollars so um long story short she went to hand me my receipt until she noticed that i was supposed to get back to shell gas cars which is this receipt here of her redeeming them well she couldn't find them so she said so she went on the lookout for them and came back with the manager and then proceeded to explain to the manager every single coupon that I was using so she pretty much held my receipt and my gas cards hostage until she got the okay from the manager as if I was doing something wrong and that she was going to hold on to my receipt Little did she know, if she had went down that route, she was going to have a fight on her hands because I was well within my right to use every single coupon that I had. And if anybody says any different because you want to criticize my videos, you can eat it. Plain and simple. So, I got my three gas cards today. Well, actually, four gas cards today. Well, by today because I actually started this gas card thing on Saturday. I went to a CVS that still started on um, Saturday so that I actually had some rollover with that. Now, when you look at my receipt, this is here. My total savings of $220.65 just off of the, um, the three trips to, what, four trips to CVS I took over the last few days and this 2931 that is actually what I paid out of pocket in between gift cards and um visa gift cards and whatnot that's what I paid out of pocket which really is just me paying for gas when you look at it 2931 is $30 all day long I'm happy with it um that's it that's all I'm out